going on guys here's another tech tip for you if you ever cross, come across one of these carrier or bryant communicating systems and you have water safeties a lot of times you'll see them wired like this where you have your two this one has two water safeties it has an easy trap and an emergency pan switch you'll see them wired in series which is fine but you will see a lot of times they're connected to r and then come back to your little terminal block here. See that black wire right there, which is D. That dedicated D terminal is R power. So what happens is when the water safeties trip, instead of telling the unit that there's some sort of malfunction, it will just power down the user interface or the thermostat on the wall. So these units, you're able to repurpose this terminal block right here so what you should do whenever you find this is take the water safeties and wire them in between R and G right there and I'll show you in a second and then all you do is go down to the controller and tell it that that is active and what that'll do is when the water safeties trip instead of making the thermostat go blank it will send a auxiliary G fault onto the controller. So you'll know that there is a water safety tripped. So I'm gonna shut the camera down, I'm gonna rewire it, and then I'll bring you downstairs and show you how to turn that on on the user interface. As you can see, we took our water safeties out. We just now have R power going to our D terminal. And for anyone that wasn't aware, D is R, C is common, and then A and B are your DC voltage, your communicating voltage for this system. So we deleted the water safeties from our R circuit and we wired them into our terminal strip. Hopefully you can see that, R and G. And all you have to do is just power everything back up, go down to the user interface and configure it so the, uh, the contacts here will know that there's water safeties there. But once I finish up up here, we'll go down there. I'll show you how to set that up. And also, if I remember to, I'll include somewhere on the screen um, a picture of the user interface manual that tells you a little bit about the auxiliary G shutoff feature. All right, guys. Again, this is on Carrier Bryant Infinity Evolution Systems. So you need to get into the back menus of this. I'm not going to go over that because I don't want any homeowners tampering with their controls. But once you get into the, the back service menus, you're going to go to Setup. You're going to go to fan coil and then you can see our G terminal input. Click that. It's default off. We're going to turn that on. It's going to give you a bunch of different options and we want the system to shut down if that uh, G terminal opens. So we're going to go shut down and those switches are normally closed. That's pretty much it. All you got to do is save, back out, and you're good to go. So when you do have the fault, it's going to come up on the screen. System malfunction. And I believe it says auxiliary G shutdown. So if you look at that, you'll know that you have a water safety tripped instead of making the thermostat go blank. So hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.